everyone, this is Amber from DSA Threads, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you how I do my hair for late period Italian Renaissance. Hopefully you can actually see my hair. I have the lights on. <laughs> I have children screaming. Here they come. One second. A lot of this is gonna have overlap with Morgan Donner's videos about how she does her hair. I have short hair and I actually don't do the supplementing of the hair into the actual hair with longer hair pieces. You can do that and it looks really great. But for me, that just takes a lot of time. So this one's a little faster. And basically what it starts out with is I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle and I'm gonna do two braids with the technique that they used here along this part. Pin that in place, and then I'm gonna use what I made, which is actually just a hair piece that I'm gonna pin right on top of that. Um, that's already got all of the decorations and everything, like little bows and pearls and stuff. And then what I did is I went in and used one of these like combs, and then you just clip that into place and, and it stays, and then I pin the rest of it down. So that's the general overview. First thing I do is I part down the middle. Oh gosh. This would help if I had you know, a comb, something to brush my hair. Okay, so, part it down the back. I don't really care if it's messy, because usually I got a veil on anyway, but you can be more careful about your part if you want to. Um, and then I use these little elastics, these plastic elastic-y thingies. They work real good. Um, I'm gonna, one on the side here for now, so those don't go wandering over to the other side. And then what I do is I start, let me get a little closer for you guys. Okay, it's a true strand twisty thingy. I don't know what the real name is for it. Every time you just grab a little hair, and twist over the top. Grab some hair, twist over the top. Grab some hair, twist over the top. Grab some hair. So what you're doing is you're going to be making these two strands equal amount as what the remaining is gonna be. And then you take all of those and you braid them. And this is definitely explained in Morgan Donner's video. Or rather, she probably has better lighting. <laughs> so you can actually see it. Okay, so here's the third piece. And then here's these two pieces that we just did. And we're gonna bring them all together and start braiding them all together. And yeah, there are pieces sticking out. We'll deal with those later. Well, <laughs> you can always pin them down. This is called period approximate. Good enough. All right. Let me do the other side. You know, for a chilly day, it is warm today. <laughs> Inside. It's like the first day I put my heat on. I'm trying not to get away the camera so you can see what I'm doing. A little bit from the bottom, pull it over. A little bit from the bottom, pull it over. A little bit from the bottom. All right, we got our three pieces, time to braid. And they are short braids. Let's see, how did I do? Oh, that's definitely a lot flatter than my other side. 
there's always that one side that's just like, nope, not gonna work. That's why we have pockets. Okay, I'm trying to show you again how I do this. So, I actually take both of them and I tuck the tails in. Hopefully that looked okay. So the way that I made this thing is I took those braid, those bat braiding hair that you can get online and I will link it. And then I braided two braids and then I used black thread and wound it around as, as if you were hair taping, but just not to your head. And then I went in and tied some white bows and this is actually just my pearl necklace. I need to get an actual strand of pearls that's not a necklace so that I can actually wear my necklace, but for right now, this will work. So once you've got your hair in place and you've hid all the tails, as I've shown you, you just go ahead and... I like to put the thing around the, the braided area. So you're gonna put them on the bottom and that'll kind of help to hoist them up a little bit. And then... Dig that, that comb in, and really the hardest part is gonna be snapping it. Okay, that's <laughs> too bad. Because <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm just pulling my hair out. Okay, and then you just go ahead and pin it down in a few places. Better it'll keep it feel nice and solid. Keep everything in place. If you really want to, um, and you don't want to have the pearls, because pearls tend to catch on things, and so I don't dare try to use them on my actual hair, but you can also just take this little braid circle and you can actually just do the taping to your head. I'm just not doing that this time. And then there you have it. So. I'm gonna try to show you from the side, from this side, <laughs> and the back. I hope that helps. I know a lot of us got tired of our hair growing out during quarantine, and so then we went ahead and we chopped it. So hopefully this is an option that helps with shorter hair. From there, I could probably do it more if I really wanted to, but it's still pretty without it. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed how I did this. I, maybe it's helpful to you and um, we'll see you next time. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a total disaster. Okay, so. I don't know if I wanna show you the back cause the braids are totally falling out. <laughs>